Today is the beginning of meteorological winter and Mother Nature is cooperating. The inversion should blow away today with the uh, heavy snow beginning, especially in the mountains. We're already seeing some of that snow over the uh, Wasatch Plateau on I-70. We're seeing snow Cache Valley, uh, northern Wasatch Front around Brigham City and uh, packed snow roads on the I-84 corridor up towards Idaho. So the winter weather advisories where you see the blue, the winter storm warnings where the pink is and the uh, snowfall amounts. OK, we kind of teased you with this went through Saturday night. We're up to two feet there at Beaver Mountain. The Saturday night into Sunday time frame really hits hard. Heavy, heavy snow uh, starts to fall. Whoops, that's kind of popped by. Went down 42 inches at uh, Brighton should uh, have showed up there. Um, I guess we're going to try that one more time. I think it's just going to pop on by. But anyway, we get up around 40, 42 inches at Brighton. And uh, that's all because of a series of disturbances that are coming in from the northwest. We'll begin that cleaning of the valleys with this first one. Snow will fall and then uh, snow back here will continue. Here we are on Saturday morning with snow very heavy. This northwest flow, I've seen this before many, many times. This northwest flow is very favorable with the uh, approach of an atmospheric river, at least the remnants of it coming in. And then that will pound the area into Saturday evening, Saturday night. Very heavy snow in the Wasatch. East bench areas, you will see a significant amount of snow from Olympus Cove north towards Brigham City. Also, Cache Valley should do well. Then on Sunday, we start to see the slightly warmer temperatures may turn back over to rain in the valleys and then uh, end by Monday. Ridge of high pressure builds in and you say, Dan, oh no, it's going to be we're going to have more inversion, but uh, there's a southwest flow that should keep some southerly winds blowing and that will help to keep the valleys from uh, becoming inverted, uh, in other words, uh, inversion weather. And then this next storm comes in on Friday, Saturday of next week, and that will help to keep the snow falling. Now today, 38 with an increasing chance for snow showers, some accumulation up to an inch or two on the benches, a half an inch in the valleys today, but more snow coming in tomorrow. 30s and 40s for highs. The inversion probably hangs on a little bit in Vernal and the Uinta Basin until later on. It'll clear out on Saturday and Sunday. No snow for uh, much of southern Utah. The mountains might see a little bit, but not a lot of snow in southern Utah. St. George stays warm. For the Wasatch Front, though, this is a biggie, especially for the east bench areas of Salt Lake, Davis, Weber, Box Elder counties. Uh, we're going to mix that with some snow and rain on uh, Sunday, then back to uh, slightly warmer temperatures next week due to the fact that we should see enough southerly winds to keep the inversion from returning. But be careful this weekend. Do not be surprised to see some very treacherous road conditions over the mountains.